guys, welcome back. And this behind me is the old Gilly EM Grand X7 model. I know. Uh, why did I say old? Because well, it's 2014 model, so it's technically seven years old. So from the side, it looks like it's like 2019 model, but it is actually 2014 model. And today I'm gonna give it a review. Not the last review, which I actually gave the Hilux review. That was not even detailed. So this is gonna be a detailed review. And it's gonna be really fun, so keep watching, and we'll talk about the interior, the exterior. So yeah, stay tuned. Guys, from the front, it looks well not so attractive because well, uh, as you compare to the newer cars, well, it there are some things which the older or uh, newer cars doesn't have, and the old car does have. So like. I mean the grills, uh, the plastic grills, I mean like they are, they, this is full plastic and there's actually underneath the plastic too. And in this version, you get fog lamps, which is good when you're driving in fog or a sandstorm. And uh, I like that you have chrome over here, chrome grill. and. The gold with the Geely logo, the gold, and inside you have black and red. Well, recently they have changed the logo and they have changed the colors, something blue and uh, blue and black. So I'm uh, I'm not sure, but it's something like that. And uh, this is the front. So as you come around the side of the vehicle, I'm just gonna show you the side. Well, it is, I mean, like, it's okay. Uh, you got, I mean, like, you got this fat uh, mirror, which goes, which actually goes, uh, it's really hard, it goes all the way here, but it's really fat. And if you want to extend it in, like, it, on the car side, well, it's not really much uh, uh, compared to a Toyota Hilux, because in a Hilux, it goes like so in like it's like that it goes like that so it's so cool and uh, yeah so now let's talk and uh, and over here are door handles which and one thing is really rare in cars that are modern well now they actually come with the the whole door handle is uh, chrome this one actually has plastic and chrome on the middle but like and unlike the toyota hilux it has all chrome door handles like it's all chrome um they use a lot of chrome on the hilux so and these grills i mean they're not just show grills they're actually real you can tie tie things up or put some things up that's so cool um as for the back yeah, it is kind of cool. I won't lie, it is kind of cool. So, I mean, the roof spoiler, roof spoiler, it's basically plastic, cheap plastic. I mean, it, it flexes. Ooh. And uh, you got the uh, rear, rear brake light, wiper for when you're driving in rain. And, yeah, it is kind of cool, actually, the car. And you can open it uh, manually, well, as well as for the shortcut, there is a button on the case. So if you want to open the trunk, you just hold it and it opens and you can open it and just close it. So, yeah, that is quite cool. And as, as well as for the tail lights, well, they're decent. I mean, like, I do like that uh, it, it looks like there's holes in there and the light uh, on and if you press press the brake it turns on it's so cool and the indicator and uh, the rear uh, what the rear light which when you're reversing it turns on and in this model you get a reversing camera you might not be able to see that but now you might be able to see the reversing camera where is it there we go the reversing camera so that really helps um so i mean like if i tell you if 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 i tell you this and the compare
guys on this, it looks like that it the car is smiling for some reason. I don't know. It's just me. Or, and um, I forgot EM Grand X7 Christian to tell everyone that you're driving a Geely EM Grand. And this is the Geely Christian all in chrome. Really cool. So now let's talk about the interior. Yeah, now let's go to the interior. Alright guys, so as for the interior, yes, it's uh, not very luxurious as compared to the newer cars. But I mean, some things are a bit cool, and I mean, everywhere you touch in this car is cheap plastic. I mean like, over here, plastic. Over here, plastic. This is, I don't know, this is also plastic. Over here is a bit soft over here well it's uh, also a bit soft so that's good um i mean like over here plastic uh on the center console is also plastic the buttons like over here plastic but they, they feel a bit good like nice um there are shortcut button and it has cruise control which is good and um yeah, now, this car, I'll tell you. So, yeah, so, inside, um, I mean, it's technically okay. Uh, you got, um, um, automatic transmission in this one, and you can get it, uh, with a manual transmission, if you like to. Um, and as well as for, uh, the AC controls, well, they're actually all, like, uh, you know, uh, separated, and <clears throat> it's tidy, like, it's not messed up, like, some AC controls are here, some infotainment system controls are here, yeah. the AC controls, there are shortcut buttons, like, AC, this, auto, hot air, off, and these dials are actually quite nice, I mean, the chrome here, 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 and it's actually, on the gearbox, you get, ooh, which is actually, I think plastic, but it's shiny plastic, and when you hold on to that, it does feel nice. And, um, yeah, so now, uh, you get chrome here, here, but this is plastic chrome, like, if I tell you, um, it is actually plastic, they just painted with chrome, uh, in the Hilux, you get a real chrome door handles which is quite nice i mean that is uh, that is so good um as well as for the key well you just press this button and the key pops out and you can just there we go there we go we're gonna start on this and that is really really nice um so you got these button and this this is actually really rare in cars like if you wanna uh if if, if you want the ac to throw hot air you, you can just press this button without turning the temperature low or high i mean that's a clever function now um yeah so this is basically uh oh this is not all uh, you get storage uh, under here but i mean like it's uh there's nothing much you can do just little air plugs you can to keep in them because if you want to go on long journeys to mountains uh your ear will get blocked so better keep these with you you can like never know and a couple of sanitizer wipes because covid and you can easily store a pen and in this model well, this is not uh, in market, this is aftermarket, and in this model, you get only one cup holder. Oh, that's not good. And that brings me on to this car's five annoying things. For the rear passenger, the center passenger, it's a bit hard to get on the seat belt because it's quite high up, especially for kids if they do want to get it. You have to really squeeze your arm in the back oh my goodness why didn't they add it over here that's also safe i mean i don't know if you if you have too much luggage and if you want to fold the rear seats down what you have to do is go to this corner and fold these seats down and go to 
this corner. Fold in this seat stack. Now you get a comfy flat fold. And if you want to fold that seat stack back up when you unload it, well, you have to repeat the same thing again. They could have at least added a button or a lever here so that you, just, you can just pull it and it folds down. Why? That's a, a, that's a pain. If you want to fold the seat up, well, you have to do this. And one annoying thing is you fold it and this automatically comes out, which is a bit annoying. And then you have to go here, plop it in. Why isn't there a special lock? You can just remove it and then it comes down. Why? For the passengers, if they want to come out and you have recently drived in some water, mud, or sand, and it gets here, and uh, there's no side step, you should, uh, and if, if you come out, you're going to rub it all over here, and it's going to be dirty. So, in the RAV4, in the 2021 RAV4, you get, this actually opens too, so it doesn't get dirty. So, they could have added that, but it's 2014, so that doesn't matter. Could have at least added. There are a total of th three se parking sensors. They could have added one here and one on the uh, other side. Because of this, there's a little crack on the fog lamp. Like I'll just show you. There's a little crack. You can't be able to see that, but there is a crack. So, and that would save the crack and. Uh, but if someone comes in a fast speed and hits it, the sensor would have been smashed. And the sensor is really expensive. So there's an advantage and a disadvantage. That's not all. This car doesn't have uh, only annoying features. This car also has five cool features. So here's five. If you're having trouble closing the tail, you just can't close it. Well, that's okay. You get a handle over here which you, you, you can grab onto this and you can close it so that makes it easier yeah that is cool this car is all wheel drive you can go off-roading like not too hardcore off-roading like going in serious mud and you can go like to some uh dirt roads uh, or you can go in soft sand since this car is an all-wheel drive and this car gets a full size spare wheel with all the uh, tire changing recovery kit with a jack um yeah, a sp spanner to remove the tire nuts and you get a pressure a pressure checker of the tire uh, tire to check check the pressure and it comes with a with a call uh, with a compressor but that makes a lot of noise and it fills the uh, air very slowly but i mean that's good you get a air compressor a tire pressure check a spanner a jack a full-size spare wheel so you don't get that in the old cars you know car you get abs which stands for auto braking system and uh, if and the front park parking sensors and when yeah, if you're on a highway or on a normal road and an ob object appears in the fr fr front of the car it automatically senses it with the parking sensors and it'll stop the car and if a car is coming behind you and it doesn't have that feature well uh, you know it's gonna b bump into you but it'll uh, but the uh, the front parking sensors will save a lot of money on the engine because you know the engine is so expensive you know so it'll, you know, cost you a lot if it this doesn't have uh, this feature doesn't have in this car. So yeah, car you get pretty seat adjustments. Like you 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 can do it a lot back and literally relax. That's not all. You can uh, do it more and you can do it as much as you like. But I like this, and you can even move it backwards and move it forwards. And if you like, you can jack it up. You can jack it down. That is so cool. I mean, like, you don't get this much adjustment. And this car goes literally so forward. The seat goes so forward. Like, I mean, it, my, my knees literally get blocked. So, this car is really cool for this feature. This, cause, this car has a fully adjustment mirror. Like, I mean, like, you can move it 
over here like this which is actually cool and you can move it like this which is also cool and it's not seem like the high log. Let's talk about the infotainment system. Well, there's not much you can do with it. Just some shortcut buttons. You have navigation in this, but no navigation found. You have to uh, have a device on your mobile phone. Then you, you can connect it and then it'll show the navigation. You, you have radio in this, which is basically useless. And you have media, you can uh, put a, Put a USB, in, uh, not a USB, um, a mic, uh, uh, whatever, whatever it's called. You, you can put that in there and it'll play on the media. And you, you can connect your phone and put Bluetooth. And you can mute while you're, 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 pla you're playing media. And micro SD, when you do this, it comes off. So make sure to keep this safe. Um, you, you can put an SD card and it will show all the things which have been saved in that and set seek seek so this is totally you can do with it not much I mean like you do or you can go back you have SD iPod Bluetooth navigation USB setting and all those things which is I, I, I don't even know some things now let's talk about connectivity in this car because this is not much i mean there is one usb port and one auxiliary and a 12 volt socket in the a 12 volt socket and that's pretty much all now in the back seat the adults in the front will be absolutely like fine they'll be good but if like kids run out of battery it's not gonna end up well it is definitely not gonna end up well so this is connectivity so yeah oh yeah guys this is the hilux and i mean like literally you can do it like that and you can literally move it in like i mean that makes a huge difference yeah um and you get chrome on the hilux which i mean which is, which is okay and you can be able to see my face woo, for the first time well not the first time yeah and uh so Oh, this is Hilux. So now let's talk about the back seats. I got so much carried away and I started talking about annoying things and cool features. So in the back seats, I mean like the seat position, the seats are a bit low and the floor is a bit up. So you mean like I have a bit of gap in my in in the seat and uh, my leg. So you can actually you can, uh, this is a three seater. And in the middle seat, it's literally so narrow, like, you will be able to fit a child in there. Like, a five-year-old child in there. Two adults, one child. That'll be easy. And, uh, you, you can move the uh, back seats backward or forward. But they're somehow jammed, I don't know. And, uh, this window ledge is really, really high. And like a Hilux, it's really low, like, to my shoulder. This is to my nose, so, I mean... I mean, it's oh, quite a pain to see outside. <sighs> I mean, that's uh, okay for a family car. Well, it's just usually in family cars, it's like that. And chrome door handles, and these are same plastic door handles. And these, you only get these in a Land Cruiser, not a Prado. Actually, in a Prado and a Land Cruiser. So, and you also get in these, which are quite strong. So I like, uh, I really like that. Two cup holders, and I mean, like, this is, that is okay, better than the Hilux, that was cheap, plastic. Um, so, you got decent sized cup holders, which you can fit a manual in there of this car, and, uh, yeah, and now let's talk about storage. Guys, now is the time to talk about storage, and you got a bit of st storage there, but that's not like that's nothing. You got uh, two, one here and one here, the small thingy where you can store some, and you, you've got this glove box. The center console, I mean, that's oh my goodness, that's the smaller I've ever seen. That's the smallest center console I've ever seen in my life, like easily in my life. But that's not all, because you get another cup holder, not a cup holder, I mean a console, uh, a center console, but I mean it's a decent size, you can fit uh, two of uh, the 500ml bottles, of half liter bottle, you can fit two of them, 
and there's a bit of storage here for cigarettes, ash, I don't know, and, uh, and two cup holders, as I told you, and you cannot access the bag, it's just plastic, and here, and one more storage is a clever idea, I like that idea, I'll just show you. So guys, this is the trunk, I, this is the trunk, you can keep your fire extinguisher, and your vacuum car vacuum here which is a car storage area i mean that's cool you have to fold these rear seats down first and same in the mid pedal uh and in in the back you got jack and i'll just show you the jack in this model you get a full recovery kit with a jack and you should get a jack and over here there are just some shoppers you get this uh, which uh, which inside is the tire pressure checker and over here you actually get a, a, a spanner and a jack lifter so when if, if you have a tire puncher that's not a problem you'll just be able to continue like what 15 minutes so that's really quick um so that's a clever storage idea so yeah so guys what do you think i rate the gilly em grand well it i mean that it is okay for a family car it's the best uh, unlike pickups because they have hard suspension and when you go over a bump it'll just bounce like ooh, and it's just parked out there so and uh, so this is the total review um so for a family car it's a good car i mean if 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 you wanted a family car you should consider it because some things are not are not the best in this car but uh if you'd like this car to be like a loading vehicle and a, sometimes a family vehicle well I, sh I think you should avoid it because it isn't gonna end up well so yeah that's what the video i hope you all enjoyed and uh, make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment down below how was this car interior exterior so i'll meet you all peace out